Last year, I was working with my mentor, Dr. Brennan, at um, Bronx Community College. Okay, and I worked on um, ataxia, talent, anesthesia. This is just the background of what it is. So, okay, ataxia, which means poor coordination, and um, tel um, telangiectasia um, are red blood vessels which develop on the white on the right of your eyes, as you've seen in the beginning here. <laughs> what is um, ataxia? Ataxia is um, a disease that occurs mostly in infants or children, and usually the children don't live past the age of three. It's also known as the Lewis Barr syndrome. All right, this is how it works. First, okay, let me tell you um, what the letters mean. M stands for mitosis, G1 for growth, for the first growth, S for synthesis, and G2 for another for the other growth. So as you seen right here, um, mitosis, as the first, as the um, um, for every, Every cycle or every stop, there's a codon, and that controls whether that controls um, that tells us that whether the cell is um, re um, reproducing properly, successfully. So right here, as I see right here, is going to be a stop codon just to make sure that the cells are reproducing properly. Um, this is the growth, the sec um, the first growth, and then it continues all the way to synthesis. Over here is this, this co um, there's a codon that we're going to over here. And the P53 protein, which um, is responsible for AT, how it occurs sometimes, it actually, well, it's kind of tricky. It tricks the DNA repair protein and it replaces, it replaces the synthesis stop codon, which P53 reproduces the mutated gene, which is AT, um, ataxia talent stage of mutated. Okay, right here from um, chromosome 11Q22 to 11Q23 is where ataxia occurs in this colored um, shaded region right here. Um, it is an inherited disease, but only if your parents is, most of the time if both parents should have it, or one parent can have it, and then there's a possibility that you may get it. Symptoms are, um, diagnosis are symptom screening, high incidence of respiratory infection, gene analysis, um, slurred speech and drooling, not stuttering, but slurred speech, um, and tiny red lesions upon the face and eyes. One in four, every 40,000 to one in every 100,000 people get this disease. So which means that it's really, it really occurs. So when it does occur, um, your lifespan is very short. Symptoms include um, slurred speech, poor coordination, lack of stability, red spider veins upon your arm, um, the whites of your eyes, lack of muscle control, irregular growth, above normal intelligence, mental intelligence, difficulty swallowing, cancer, weakening of the immune system, and premature death. And those are examples of red lesions. Treatment. Um, actually, there is no treatment for um, ataxia because scientists have not um, done, a lot of, done a lot of research on it, but it's possible. But sometimes when you use, um, as it says, um, when you take vitamins, it can also, um, how can I say, it can also um, have more symptoms to it, and well, it could just make it worse sometimes. Future, oh, sorry. 
Um, since only such um, a little amount of people have this disease, um, I hope that scientists will actually do more research on it so that they could be, actually be a cure for it, so that um, infants will, will be able to live longer. My resources, my acknowledgments, Dr. Sapp, Ms. Yufandu, my living environment teacher, Ms. Janet Gonzalez, um, my co-mentor, Dr. Brennan, my mentor, Eric Conedo, um, my co-mentor, Bronx Community College, and my school, Frederick Douglass Academy, and all of you guys.